Hey there everybody, I'm right here. My name's Jason. Uh, I just made this little guy right here and I wanted to try it out on an actual speaker cabinet. Now I didn't have one in the house so I kind of had to improvise. What you see in front of you is a Fender Twin Reverb and I have the speaker jack coming out of it and it's coming into the little orange stamp right here, okay? Uh, this little guy is powered up. I've had it powered up for about five minutes now. Uh, I just wanted to see how long the battery will work on it. Yes, this is battery powered. I mean, take a look at that. I've got a little box under here. It's got a LED indicator. And I'm just going to let this thing run today. I want to know how long this lasts. But in the meantime, I figured I'd just show it off and show that it works. All right. So my lead to the guitar is going to be a... B and G, I believe this is a little sister crossroads, beautiful P90s, beautiful resonance sustain, all those fun things. So you might see the guitar neck kind of doing one of these things while I'm goofing off here. All right. Um, the Fender Twin Reverb, those are two 12s in there. Uh, those speakers are actually rated for eight, oh, I'm sorry, four ohms. Versus this little box here has 8 or 16. It's still stinking loud. So I am very impressed with how this works. Also, I noticed I've got a pair of headphones right here that I plugged into the headphone slash cab simulator in this thing. And everything works at the same time. It's something that Orange didn't really say. So you could technically DI with this, have this on the, on the set or on the stage and then play with this thing wirelessly, and I'm trying to figure out how long it goes. So, I am done talking. Let's power up. I typically play with the guitar around eight, and then I roll it up for solos, and you can also use this as the boost. As you can hear, it's already super loud. The two other pedals I have up here is a Hall of Fame for reverb and then flashback for delay. Uh, my pictures that I posted, they were flipped around. I just felt as though I would use more of the mash button function on the Hall of Fame for bigger ambient swells versus what the flashback offered for all of its mash button functions. If you could imagine, uh, let's see here, I'm gonna go to some tape delay. So you can hear it fun, right? Cool, but it's not practical for what I want to do today. So I'm going to go I'm going to go back into the mod that has a little bit of chorus. And you can hear when you match down on that, it gives you a little bit of an extra swirl. This I don't think the plate really does much. It might have a little more on the decay. I'm not sure though. It's one of those things that you could absolutely change in the settings. So I am going to, uh, um, boy, uh, let's see here. The, the contour on the orange is set at 12. Gain on the stamp is at about 11. Volume one is at about 10 and volume two is at about nine. So I can use this as a little boost volume boost pedal and I'll just roll back and forth for uh, all my breakup. down to where I like it.
pickups on the guitar. pick up on the guitar. of a lead player uh, I'll do what I do what I can I'm more finger pick uh, well using the pick to kind of finger pick in a sense a little cheating there so let's see let's get let's go here terrible at it uh, but yeah well as you can hear I'm facing the amplifier so you're gonna get some of that little bit of 
whatever, as soon as you kind of get away from there, you're dealing with the magnets, basically. Uh, not necessarily the amplifier, which is what this is. It's stinking loud. It's rocking. And I'm going to turn this off really quick. And I'm going to show off. Just a little bit of this time has passed. Ah, we're still at four bars down underneath. Uh, this is a great setup. I don't know what else to say. It's <laughs> it's great. Wow. There you go. Boom.